Day two of the WTC final, technically day two, saw 80 overs of fabulous test match cricket, a good contest between bat and ball once again, and 80 overs in itself was a big bonus for cricket fans considering the weather in Southampton, but it was a hard day of test cricket for Team India. A tough day at the office, with New Zealand sitting pretty in the driver's seat at the end of two days play with three days to go. What happened in day two? Well, if there are two passages of play that will summarize it, first up, will have to be what the New Zealand seamers did to the Indian batsmen. India coming in with a little over 140 runs. Their first target was to get to 200 and maybe around 250 was a good total on this pitch. But the Kiwi seamers had other ideas, particularly Kyle Jamieson. They bundled out India for just 217 runs, 71 runs for those last seven wickets. That's all that India could manage. Virat Kohli did not add to his overnight score. Ajinkya Rahane fell pretty quickly after well, he got into the 40s. Rishabh Pant, Ravi Ashwin, Ravi Jadeja, none of them really could make an impact. And Kyle Jamieson was ruthless, delivering the ball in the right areas, using full conditions and taking full advantage and assistance from the pitch and the weather conditions. All in all, the Kiwis bundling out India for 217 were with the advantage. Second passage of play was, could India do the same damage with the ball in hand that the New Zealanders did? Well, the early answer, at the moment at least, is no. Unfortunately, a very, very good partnership between Devin Conway and Tom Latham saw them put up 70 runs for the opening partnership. Jaspreet Bumrah, Ishan Sharma and Mohamed Shami unfortunately couldn't get any breakthrough as the Kiwi openers were happy to play the waiting game. And eventually, it needed Ravi Ashwin to finally get that early breakthrough and dismiss Tom Latham. And India have something to come back for when they dismissed and Ishan Sharma dismissed Devin Conway right at the end of day's play. So India, with still eight wickets to get, have plenty to do. And the Kiwis, on the other hand, when they step out, Ross Taylor and King Williamson, it's going to be an extremely important passage of play the first session in day three. If New Zealand get away with some runs, I think they might run away with this test match very quickly. The Indian seamers have to get at least two to three wickets in that opening passage of play if they want to stay in the hunt. And the second big thing to watch out for is the rain. It could be another day of stop and start, stop and start. Not great for test match cricket, not great for the cricket fans, but plenty of rain expected on day three. Let's just hope that we get to see enough cricket and hopefully it lives up to what we saw in days one and two.